Hey. Hey guys, we are back with part two of our five part blogging series. And today, what do we got from today, Marie? Today we are going to be talking about branding. So branding yourself. And we actually touched on it in the last video where we said that really your blog is a central place for people to actually connect with you. Now, when we, um, when we started building online, we realized again that we really shouldn't be branding or we shouldn't be pushing the company that we were in. We really mm. realized again that people like the know, like, and trust factor. And so yeah. you really need to have, you know, a place where people can learn about you and build that relationship with you. Yeah. And that is a huge mistake, people. We see people all the time that are you know, leading with the company first. And it's a huge mistake. Um, you know, I think, I think we used to do it at, at some point, but you know, very early on we learned that, yeah. Hey, you got to brand yourself because at the end of the day, people buy you, you know, they buy you first and then into the company second. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to believe, you know, that are just, Starting you know, out. um, or, or really passionate about your company. And that's great. But you still got to have that branding in place because, you know, people will make a snap judgment decision in, you know, because there's so many choices now, you know what I mean? 50 years ago, there weren't so many choices now because there's so many choices, there's so many, you know, things competing for your attention. People make a snap decision. So if they, if they go to your Facebook page and you have a, you know, crummy picture and, you know, a, a picture of, a, you know, a car or, or, or something, you know, that looks like a stock photo on your Facebook, you know, fan page, they're going to be like, ah, this person doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. I was actually going to say, if I can just dial it back for a second, you were talking about how people promote with their company first. And you know, it's great that you're passionate about your company, but it's true. You know, everybody makes a snap decision. And the thing is there are lots of people who are probably already interested in your company and you should think about your own experience. So if you were interested in the company that you are in right now, your primary opportunity, how did you decide um, who to join? Like, what was it that made you decide that you were going to join with your particular sponsor? And that's where the blog and everything else comes into play because people, I hate to say it, you know, it's very controversial. Nobody wants to talk about it, but people sponsor shop. They do. They try to figure out who is the sponsor that they will have the best opportunity or the best chance with in order to build, you know, a really substantial income. And if you think that if you have no way to actually show people what you can offer them, you don't have a blog, you don't have a Facebook, you don't have any of that stuff, they can't really get to know you, there's really no way for them to choose you, trust you, decide on you. And so, again, if you don't have that blog, it's very, very, very important. Yeah, and the blogging, branding for a blog really is, is, is two parts of it. You have the visual aspect, and then you have the message of, of your brand, right? And if you don't have either of those dialed in, um, you know, people are, are just are just not going to follow you. They're just not going to be attracted to you. They're just not, you know, they're just going to make that split second decision. You know, and you've probably seen that too. You got, you go to, uh, you know, in the search engines, you click on a blog, you know, there's, there's no header there. There's no, you know, it just doesn't look professional. It looks, you know, junky or thrown together. Um, you know, th that's their impression of you. Now you may be great at what you do, but you've just lost that first impression because you know, basically your, your blog let you down, right? So when people go to your site and they see a polished professional image, you know, something like, you know, like you'd see at, at, uh, you know, someone went to, you know, Tony Robbins, uh, uh, a site or, you know, some of these, you know, different authors that, that have a blog and it looks put together. It looks polished. It looks professional. You know, they have a snap, snap second judgment decision and they're like, Wow, this person's got their stuff together. Yeah, and I was that's someone say, that I trust. Right, and on top of that, so he's talking about you know having a really great looking um, blog, but at the same time, you have to make sure that I mean, even if you have a blog, you have to make sure that it hits all of those psychological triggers because people have blogs up that do look professional, but they actually don't accomplish what you need to do, which is like lead generation connection and all of that stuff. So there's so many different things in play when you have a properly set up blog um, that you know, you have to take these things into consideration because there is a certain buying process online as well, right? Mm -hmm. And your blog has to be able to, um, 
you know, capture that attention of your prospect and then filter them through. So at the end of it, you don't just, you have like a very qualified lead that turns into somebody who joins your business. Yeah. And you'll find that once you have the branding aspect, right, you can have lots of people that just, you know, want to talk to you and they start chasing you because you've branded yourself the right way. So bottom line, you have to get branded and you have to have a great brand, something that, that, that has a message that, that resonates with you, that connects with you personally. And you have to have that image. So people come to their site and they're like, wow, this is something I need to pay attention to. Exactly. So, so. <laughs> we will see you on uh, episode number three yeah. on our next tip over and out.